who is liable for credit card debt with a married couple when one dies? Um, if both couples are on a credit card and one passes away, is the living person liable to pay the debt of the deceased? So it depends on how the credit card. So okay. you are responsible for debt in your own name. So most times, most most couples I've seen in my career do not have joint credit cards. What they'll usually have is a credit card taken out in one person's name and the other person might be an authorized user. Yeah, That's a very different setup. So as long as, so let's say person A and B are married, person A has a credit card, it's in their name, make person B an authorized user, person A dies. Person B is still not responsible for the bill because they have not co-signed on to the bill. Um, having said that, their car will end. I mean, the, the authorized user car, will, you might as well shred it because they're going to close the account down. Um, but unless you personally co-signed on to a debt, you are not responsible for paying it. That extends to student loans. Don't pay your spouse a student loan. It dies with them. It's their responsibility unless you, for some poorly thought out reason, co-signed it. Yeah. Um, same for... Like the car loan, if your spouse has a car and they have the loan on that car, you don't have to pay it if you don't want the car. If you do want the car, now you have to pay off the loan and buy the car but if, or refinance it, but you can send the car and the keys back to the bank hmm. and call it a day or sell it on, or, or make a party say to sell it on in the market on Craigslist and pay off the loan that way. Hmm. But um so so yeah, I I think that's super interesting. So so you do not if someone dies and unless the uh, yeah, this is the the estate pays up. their own debt. Yeah. Gotcha. So if the person has 20 bucks in the bank and a thousand of debt, 20 bucks goes to the debt, the $980 gets wiped. Okay, so it's um, not that it's not that the person dies and then their debt suddenly isn't applicable anymore. No, no. It's, well, it's, it's the against, it comes out of the balance. It comes out of their assets. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so so let me let me pose a couple hypotheticals. But once the assets are exhausted, the family does not need to kick in their own money to pay it off. Yeah. <laughs> Let's let's pose a couple hypotheticals. I know my spouse is going to die. She's uh -huh. either sick or has some. She's in a coma, and I'm in three days. It's going to sure. end. Sure. Um, I really want a new sailboat. It's going to be really big. It's going to cost a hundred thousand dollars. It's going to be really cool. This is really morbid. She has nothing to her name. She has no assets at all, but she has a really big credit limit. Um, okay, so I'm I'm an authorized user on her card, and I want a new boat. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> to, to help me grieve, you this know, this is not going to be legal. Okay, this is, this is definitely <laughs> taking out to have legal advice, and this is going to be closer to fraud advice. Okay, um, but. Let's let's do it. Okay, so <laughs> if you don't want to, we don't have to. Okay, so I would not recommend anyone do this. But if a person were to do this, <laughs> this is how that theoretical person would go about it. Okay, so if they had a high credit limit, if the sick person had a really high credit limit, you could cash out your cards. You can buy a sailboat. I would recommend the sick person actually buy the sailboat on their credit card. Okay. Um. Then they die. Okay. There's two things. There's two, there's two other things as well. So you buy the sailboat on your credit card. Mm -hmm. um, and then you make sure that your bank accounts and all your other assets are jointly titled by a survivorship or have a payable on death so it automatically transfers to someone else. So let's say in your scenario, the, the deceased person didn't have much in their name. But let's say they did have a lot in their name. You can make it so that the bank automatically passes to the spouse and is not subject to probate. Really? Um, so like a jointly titled account. So most joint bank accounts have joint or jointly held right survivorship, which means that right survivors are the fancy way of saying that the last person who lives gets it all. So if you... It, it rewards those who stay alive, which okay. for married couples usually means whoever spouse, the second spouse keeps it all. Um, so if it passes through that, it is not part of your estate. Really? If it's just in that one person's name and stays in that person's name, then it is part of the estate. Um, so, so in this scenario, let's say they have 100000 in the bank and they want a $100,000 sailboat. What you would do is use a $100,000 credit line to buy a sailboat. <laughs> You have your bank account set to automatically pass to your spouse. So the spouse, upon your death, keeps the $100,000 bank account, has the boat, 
<laughs> and then there's a hundred thousand dollar credit card bill out there. Yeah. What Georgia law allows you to do, there's two things you can do. So you can <laughs> declare the estate clearance and solve it, which is good. It's fine. But what's even better, though, is you can ask the, the court for what's called year support. So in Georgia, a surviving spouse within two years of someone's death can ask to be granted the state property ahead of all the creditors. So you're going to ask to be granted the whole bevy of the estate, um, including the boat, not subject to the credit card debt. So even in the year support scenario, they can just outright buy the boat. The, the, that's where the prior scenario is still the is still the best in theory if you can sleep with it. Okay. Um, you create this debt. Yeah. Buy the boat and let the debt default. Okay. Um, so you, you so you can keep the one hundred thousand dollars in that joint checking account. Yep. And keep that the gets boat. transferred to me. The so boat now you have two hundred thousand dollars, and the bank has, and the credit room has negative one hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. And if you can live with that, yeah. that is the optimal way of sticking it to the man and having a boat. But you'll go to hell. and <laughs> it's, it, You go to wherever you go. Yeah. I if don't believe yeah. in <laughs> That's that. True. But, um, bad ca- bad, it, bad it does juju. create bad karma. Yeah. It is a very scarce um, mindset way yeah. of approaching it. But if you were on your deathbed and wanted to max out your credit card, if you always wanted to have that big TV set right before you die, or you wanted to buy that car or that computer or that whatever the thing is you want to get and you're sick, just buy it because your heirs aren't going to have to pay your credit card bill if you set up the rest of your estate properly to, to vacate flow it out. when yeah. you die. That's, so, that is crazy th- your, interesting. Your, your final months alive don't skimp. <laughs> it is a, but, but realistically, though, what it also means, I'm not going to talk about credit card debt. Yeah. The real thing it replies to is medical bills. Okay. So when the hospital sends your family a medical bill for your final treatment, do not pay that bill if the estate is otherwise insolvent. It is not the duty of a spouse or children to chip into their pockets when they've just lost a loved one with their own money for a debt that they did not co-sign on to. And not to put my political high horse is that it's scandalous that we live in a society where that happens. It only only happens here in the United States, and it's bullshit. So don't reward it by paying it out your pocket. Stop rewarding these people. All right. That is crazy. I and can't also, believe. Oh yeah, and they come right after taxes. Because the tax code rewards them, they'll be uh, fine. Gotcha. They will be completely fine. Don't worry about it. Um, no, they're but do pay your business. lawyer because your lawyers are your local business owners. <laughs> they <laughs> hang in there, and I I like to pay my mortgage too. But yeah, sweet. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that that's absolutely amazing that we live in a system where. If you know your spouse is going to die and you do all the nice legal work and framework, it's an awful thing to do, but you could potentially get a $100,000 sailboat. Yeah. <laughs> the, the likely or depressing reality is with the credit card is that they probably used the credit card to pay for their medical care yeah. while Oof. they were sick. Okay. That's less fun, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I wouldn't feel guilty at all. Right. Load up the card. It's a systemic failure. Right. Um. Huh. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, this show's going to be fun, guys. But get the yeah, yeah, but get the fun thing. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful or at least enjoyable um listening to us um rip apart the great legal questions from the depths of the internet. It would help us out if you could like, share, or leave a comment below this video. Also, if you want to protect your family through the estate planning process, please give us a call. Our direct number is 404 404- and you can also leave us an email at the address below.